Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Haley, and today I'm going to show you how to make a nettle infusion. So, nettle is an extremely nutrient dense herb. It's more like eating a leafy green. Um, it's high in vitamins and minerals, it is high in iron, and it works on the adrenals and helps give you energy. So, um, when it comes to herbs, making an infusion is preferred over making a tea. And this is because while making an infusion, you trap all of the volatile oils and the aromatics, which would be like the essential oils of the plant, in the solution so you can consume them. Whenever you make a tea, um, it doesn't yield as high of a, you know, nutrient content and it doesn't extract as much out of the herb as an infusion would and with a tea you also allow the aromatic constituents of the plant to ev evaporate out of the tea. So to start you're going to need a large mason jar and make sure it's a mason jar that is meant for canning so that it can hold up to the pressure of the hot water because if you use any other kind of jar, there is a chance that it might crack with the water temperature. And so what you're going to do is measure out 30 grams of herbs, and this is a 1 to 30 uh, ratio of uh, weight to volume. So you use 30 grams of herbs to 900 milliliters of water. And if you don't have a scale, you can just use about... Um, like two to three tablespoons it's kind of the same so you're gonna put your dry herb material in the jar you put them in your jar and then you get your hot water and this water actually isn't as hot as I would normally use it's been sitting out for a minute and you pour the water into the herbs and if you're scared that the jar might crack it's actually been evaporating for 10 minutes now on the stove, so I'm gonna need to get more water. Hold on, guys. Okay, so if you're scared of your jar cracking, you can just put this in the sink, actually, and then all the glass will be contained if it cracks. And then you're going to put the lid on and just twist it a little bit, not all the way. Make sure this seal is pushed down and you want to make sure you put the lid on so that you're trapping all the volatile constituents from the herb into the solution. And you're going to let this sit for 20 minutes to a couple hours. Um, if you look online, a lot of Sources say to leave the herbs for four hours or overnight, but the way I was taught in my herbal training is that within 10 to 20 minutes, when it comes to the temperature of the hot water and the solubility of the herbs, in 10 to 20 minutes, all that could be extracted from the herb will be extracted in that time period. So you can leave it for 10 to 20 minutes um, or you can leave it overnight. It's up to you. So I have um, an infusion I made yesterday. So when it's done infusing, you're going to strain it and get another jar or whatever you want to put it in. I have this little funnel thing and a coffee filter. You can use a cheesecloth if you'd like. It doesn't matter. Okay, I stopped recording and went and got a second jar. So make sure you get all of the herb material out. And then, like I said, you're going to give it a squeeze. And this is a lot easier with a cheesecloth, but this works. It's just um, a little bit more work. Squeeze all of it out. So there you have it. Once it's all strained, you're done and you can drink your nettle infusion. 
Um, this is already chilled. This is the one I made before. It's been sitting in the fridge overnight. It is so good when it's cold. You can drink it hot, but it's not, um, it's not that great in my opinion. Um, so I drink it cold and I make one to two of these a week and it really helps give me more energy. And you want to finish this in about two to three days and make sure you store it in the fridge because a nettle infusion will go bad. So that's it guys. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any other um, herbal videos you'd like me to make. And thanks for watching. Bye.